In what may be described as the proactive measure to avert an outbreak of the virus in Bayelsa State, the State Security Subcommittee on COVID-19 has demolished what it calls illegal structures at the Swali Market in Yanagoa. The demolition has put a divide between the committee and the traders who argued that they weren't given notice before the exercise was carried out. Ovietema George has details. The Swali Market is the largest in Yenagoa, the Bayelsa state capital. On this day, a most unwelcome visitor arrives with security agencies and fierce-looking canine companions. It is demolition day at the market. The traders watch in hopeless disapproval as the bulldozers wreak havoc on the sheds that once accommodated their wares. Children are not a go school. Feeding a problem. Before we day, we go come manage for market before our children go go eat for house. Before we go do a small thing where we go take survive. Now where they don't come scatter everywhere finish. Now hungry go kill us. May government do something. The government no inform us. This inside market. They say that outside they look. Secondly, now they don't come destroy this market. This very early morning, three o'clock, I mean at three o'clock in the early morning, so four, six. Now where we did they say make everybody hide inside house. Some of us we hide inside house before they call us. They make we come outside or come outside door, then they destroy market. See us, we don't gather. Corona corona go cash us finish. So okay, as they have destroyed the property like that, we have nothing to do. Government should find a way to help the people. We are now dying. I want government assistance. The wooden shops cave in with ease in obedience to the lethal swipes of the two bulldozers on duty. We've shown enough understanding through perception, through awareness, radio talk, television talk, town hall meeting, market meeting, and all that. What else do you want the government to do? Something has to be done. This is what we're doing. This is a state that is very proactive. We have worked so hard to remain negative because if one person gets infected through this means, it means the entire Bayelsa will be in trouble. So to check that one, we felt that it's proper to pull out all the illegal structures. This is a notorious area. It's an escape route for many, many criminals. So clearing this place, apart from the unhealthy condition that prevails there, it's a, it's a welcome decision. The traders lament over the loss of property, but the demolition man insists public health cannot be sacrificed on the altar of financial gain, especially at a time when the coronavirus is registering more of its presence in other states of the country. Ovietime George, TVC News, Yenagoa.